Welcome to the EMS 4 Mux Box and Tablet, uh, as well as the EMS Mux Box PC software, which is for Windows 7, 8, and 10. For the purpose of showing this video, we are filming our PC version. The software is downloaded to our Windows 7 computer, and we have our security dongle plugged in on the tablet itself. We pre-install it on the tablet. We also disable most of the functionality of it. It can be reactivated once uh, a call is made to, to us to unlock some of the features, but we do lock out the majority of the features of the tablet itself besides the software. Uh, so we are ready to go. Dive right in. Uh, to set up your system, you have your devices plugged into the computer, your Muxbox, and your uh, either quadrature or digimatic uh, gauges plugged into the MUX box. Uh, here we have channel 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we have enabled the channel. We could disable it if we like just to show more, uh, less displays. So if you wanted to show 1, 2, 3, or 4 displays, we have all four activated right now. The gauge type, which is digimatic or quadrature, we have digimatic on this particular channel. You can uh, display units, um, either in inch, millimeters, or hide those values as well. We are going to show an inch. Now, both the systems are very similar, um, the Android as well as the PC. Here we went to settings on the top hand left. On the Android version, you would go to the top hand left and hit remote display, and then hit channel, and then you can start configuring your channel properties or settings. Um, so on this particular channel we got the Digimatic inch. We're in incremental mode. We could put it in ABS mode which is a preset value. Um, what we can do is put a preset right here. Let's call it 5 inches. 5 inches is the preset instead of 0. Um, but majority of people are going to use this in incremental mode so let's go back to uh, that mode itself. You can see uh, we have travel reverse set up and we can put it back to normal. That's the plus minus or positive and negative direction uh, when you move your spindle or your, your gauge type. Uh, we can scroll down. You can also enable tolerancing as well as warnings. Um, you would just enable, put your tolerances in, enable, put your tolerances in. You can also do ratios, uh, 2 to 1, 10 to 1, whatever ratios you want to put in here. Th this is set up for 1 for 2, so it's going to provide about half the value. Uh, right now, you can see we got about 400 thousandths travel. If I enable it, that's going to divide it by 2. Um, so you can put ratios in as well. Down here we also have auto request and logging. Right now we have auto request on. Let me just so that's as we move our gauge uh, spindle, it's refreshing the screen. I can turn that off if I don't want to and just do a manual request uh, as I'm moving the spindle. Uh, the request interval is here. You can do it automatically every five seconds, two seconds, one second, twice a second, five times a second and some devices uh, will allow you to do it 10 times per second. Depends on the device itself. Uh, we set it up typically for five times per second. You can also do auto logging. Um, auto logging, you can go over to settings, see data viewer, and here we can see that we took a, a number of auto log readings. You can do this manually or automatically. This is also on the Android version, you would go to the top left, hit your uh, remote display, and then say view data logs um, to view this screen here. Channel 2, I don't believe we have, so we've been taking readings on a lot of the channels you can see here. Um, to manually do this, you can hit log data, log data. You can see this green light come up. If you don't want to do that manually and want to take a reading over a certain time period, you would hit auto log and 
how often we had it set up for one second if you want it every minute put 360 seconds if you want it twice a second put 0.5 seconds let's go back one put it every second uh, so now we have it activated every second it is taking a reading every time you see this green light it's taking a reading and showing it down here so we're going to stop that for now now to uh, to import those into some kind of spreadsheet it does save it as a CSV file you would go up here to log directory uh, and you can type in your file type uh, and it would save it to your desktop where you could open it up as a, a CSV file. On uh, the tablet itself, you could view data uh, logs and then open, edit, uh, copy to an SD card or delete your files. So now we've set up the Digimatic. If you would like to now set up a uh, a quadrature device we let's look at uh, channel 4 setup for quadrature we enable the channel so again we can get different setups you want to save a part number type it in there hit save next time you run that job load that configuration up uh, we have quadrature now this is where it's important to tell the software what type of sensor this is is it an inch sensor? Is it a millimeter sensor? Um, that way we understand the data that's being sent to the MUX box and how to interpret it. We also need the resolution. Is it a one tenth? Is it a 50 millionths? A 20 millionths? A 4 millionths? What, what's the encoder? This particular encoder is a one inch, 50 millionths. We are not showing that on the screen. I can scroll down here, change the resolution that I'm displaying to match my encoder, but it was still reading all well because we defined the encoder. This also has to be done on the Android when you're setting up the Quadrature device. You need to say what the encoder is, resolution, as well as uh, unit type. When you're using a quadrature device, you can also use the hold function. I can enable that. It's going to uh, automatically hold my max value as I'm moving this here. I can clear that device. You can see on channel four the max I'm in incremental mode. Uh, the difference between uh, a gauge and a and a probe or quadrature device: the quadrature is constantly being sent. Uh, we don't have to go down and do any requesting. There's no automatic requesting because it is automatically already. However, you can do auto logging still. Here it's set up for auto logging every five seconds. You'll see this turn green every five seconds. Or I could disable that and do each manual log by clicking the mouse uh, over the log data button. On the top, you also have some nice functions, which are you can clear all your quadrature device at one time. So I have two quad devices. I just cleared them both. I re can request all my Digimatic devices at one time as well. So if I hit this button, it will request. I can also log all readings manually instead of individually uh, clicking each button or setting up. Uh, on the configure a uh, time. I can just hit the log readings and all of them turn green and I took a, a reading for all the channels. That is the basis of the software. There's a couple other nice little features if you would like to look at uh, down we have one turned off on channel one here and the rest are turned on channel two three and four is the analog scale so on channel one if we want to turn the analog scale on uh, it just popped up over here on the left i'll do that again 
and then you can set your analog values uh, if you want to show what leading zero in the indicator readings or gauge readings uh, how you want to center maybe you don't want to center on zero so this would be a swinging uh, scale that if you set up the tolerances would change colors from yellow to the red to the green and those tolerances once again are back up enable tolerances uh, I've got green, I've got yellow and obviously it would be red when it's out thank you for joining us if you have any more detailed questions please look at the manual and then give us a holler uh, regarding any more specific questions on the MS4 PC or tablet software. Thank you.